Good day, everybody. This is Lone Eagle. One, one, two, three, five, eight. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it so very, very, very much. I really do. So we're going to get into the human anatomy today. And I got a lot of requests to cover this. To add my two copper. And I do not mind at all. Uh, I'm just getting the program here started while I talk. So basically... Um, I've attempted making this video last night and it, and I was just was stuck on the skull alone for 45 minutes talking about it, right? And I'm like, nah, this isn't going to work. Which is a shame because it took a lot of energy to create that video, but I also learned a lot that the changes are so many and each change to the human body is so important. And through this video, th th these next couple of videos with the human anatomy, I'm going to show you how the Mandela effect is a beautiful thing and how it's making us stronger and structurally more sound, able to deal with our environment better. Because if you look at Google Earth and the changes in all my other videos, everything is a positive, a plus, 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 you know what I mean? So uh, th the Earth is changing, so maybe the environment and I mean the the physical laws of the environment might change as well. Who knows? Um, but basically, with this Mandela effect, I think the human body is a very unique one for everyone because whether you're affected or not, you are experiencing this. Everybody's body has changed. If you're a walking zombie and all you like is MTV, then you, you could relate to this. Okay, so this is a very unique phenomenon happening here. Um, and we're going to dive into it. Now, this program is called Human Bio Digital. Okay, it's, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, I used this during my college years for fitness and health. It's very useful, very, very good program. So basically, we're going to cover the human skull today. And I'm going to turn off all these other nice, fancy features. Okay. This program is free. You just need a Google account. Okay. Um, man, we just got to get right into this. So, the first part of the skull. So, I'm going to say there's... Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About eight to ten changes to the skull that are all significant and I'm gonna break up this video into probably three or four just covering the skull okay so with this program um, like you saw we could add and take away uh, body parts um, whatever we need okay so let's start so the first part of this video we're gonna cover the eye sockets and the nose okay so we're gonna get rid of this All right. Yeah, I know. How cool is that? We're going to be able to look directly in the skull. Now, there's so much happening here. It's ridiculous. And this is why it took forever for me to make this video, my last video. So let's talk about the protection of the nose area. And I'll just leave it right here for a moment so you guys could examine it. Now, this is a new bone right here for me. Let's put this back up. Um, I'm not going to say the bone in that area is new, but I just remember like this part here caving in a little bit, not being stuck out like that. Now I can't redraw the human skull. I never was into the bone structure of the skull, so I'm not going to sit here for 100% say it, but it doesn't, <laughs> it looks so weird in a positive way. I'm not going to use the word weird anymore, sorry. It just looks, you know, a lot different. So what this tells me is that this is added protection to this area. Okay, so let's get into this area. All right, so let's turn this puppy off. Now, I will say that that is new. So let's get rid of the nasal. Where is that one? This is all new, new to me, this part here. I don't know where every button is. Where's the nasal? Oh, it's right there. It's highlighted the whole time. So we got the new nasal bone. We take that away. 
so that adds protection to this now this is a new bone as well and this is the huge one this is so important this part right here um, you should used to be just a bunch of cartilage I'm not gonna say I knew exactly how everything worked uh, inside the head but this is a new bone I know for sure just because of the other features it provides now if we put the frontal back on right it adds to the socket okay and this is a bone it used to be cartilage or it all kinds of mess used to be in there that's why the bone was hollow that's why when we put this on and we scan back when we used to look at a skull it used to be just pure black right here here these three holes were black because there was nothing in there but now there's this giant rigidy bone structure it's called the ethmoid okay it's really structured funny well not funny sorry I don't mean to use that word but um, let's get rid of that um, let's get rid of this and let's get rid of this and you can see just it's I don't know how to say this but it's gonna be a lot harder to cave your face in okay um, I used to be heavy into gore I, I, I used to love that type of gross stuff and I've seen some disgusting things that happen to the face only by small minor accidents like people's faces being caved in their noses being broken just by a small bump the most crucial pain because of the dumbest accidents okay well that's gonna stop now okay a lot of that's gonna be prevented by just these two bones right here I can't get into the exact science of how these bones are gonna work because it's all new to everybody and you know I am NOT a doctor but we're gonna come back to this bone in, in another video and I want you to pay particular attention to these holes okay I was looking at these holes and I was like, oh my god, what is that? That's so cool. At first I thought it was just like exposure of the bone marrow. But I was like, no, no, they wouldn't do that. That'd be a weakness and that would be brittle. No, there's something to that. So that's coming up in a new video. I'm going to, my probably my third or fourth video. But those holes play a huge role and it's going to be exciting. But stay tuned for that. So what we've got here is a failure to communicate. So let's put all the bones back together. All right. So we've got the skull. Okay, we're almost done here, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. So we've got this, the nasal bone, the ethmoid bone. And now we're going to talk about the eye socket. And then we're going to end it here. Most of us know that about the bone in the back now of the eye socket. Well, what we're seeing here, and then with the ethmoid, right, all of these bones contributing, they make a strong socket inside and we already know about this or like well what for like a lot of people still don't know what that's for basically the change that you're seeing through uh, the human body are all for the better okay and every single thing we're gonna go through these next couple videos are gonna, I'm gonna show you that and how beautiful and it's gonna help you see that we're transitioning for the better okay it's gonna help you through your search to actually feel inside what is bullshit and what is not okay because we need to start tuning into those abilities and that's what I'm trying to do with these videos so with these new eye sockets now with the shield in the back basically and this nose structure it's a lot harder to break your nose ladies and gentlemen it's a lot harder to get a uh, for the stick in the eye to penetrate your brain or any soft tissue that's beyond this a lot of people died because of accidents like that but now it's going to be a lot harder okay it's going to be a lot harder to die from something like that um people getting shot in the eye they would die but now you actually have a chance to survive i'm not saying that this is bulletproof of course not or that this is stick proof you know a blunt it's it's susceptible uh, it's it could take a a blunt force 100 percent no these it could still break okay it could still break it could still be penetrated but it's going to take a lot of force and because the bone is like um how would you say that convex you know it's just hollow and it's round 
like the side here, it's absorbing a lot of shock. Like this is a stronger skull, ladies and gentlemen. I can't say enough of how many positives this is. Okay, and we've only gotten to just the nose, all right, and the eye socket. So the nose it's gonna be a lot harder to break your nose and those line, those holes I showed you. Okay, v play a huge role. So stay tuned to the next videos. We're gonna go over these holes and what they do and. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. this is the first video I'm gonna stop it here yeah that was 10 minutes that was only 10 minutes ladies and gentlemen okay um, also I want to break these video up uh, videos up into pieces because I just need you to like watch this and let it soak in for a bit okay um, and also I don't do very well with long videos I start rambling and going off key a lot so anyway stay tuned that's the first part the nose and the eye socket okay uh, we're still not done with the nose and the eye socket because I still got to tie them into other things that are happening with the skull. Okay, so stay tuned. I got plenty more videos on anatomy coming up, and uh, please add things if you guys discover something. You're like, well, Nigo, I think it's actually meant for this and that, or if you actually found it scientifically, the you know the evidence. Great, leave links. Okay, or leave private message me. Let's do this together. Okay, let's do this together. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it so very much. Uh, like I said, if you want to add anything, you see I'm starting right here. This is my first bit, and I'm going all the way from the head to the toe. So if you want to add anything along the way, do so. And uh, yeah, looking forward to talking to you guys in the future. So stay tuned. Love yourself, love your neighbor, and I love you. And uh, yeah, keep your head up. Stay positive. Remember, take positives away from this. I don't know how people get negatives from this. Or, you know, they freak out. They say it's weird. They want their old body back. Excuse me. You can have my old body. I'm taking this, all right? All right. Love yourselves, guys. Lone Eagle, 112358. Peace. Good day, everybody. This is Lone Eagle, 112358. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it so very, very, very much. I really do. So we're going to get into the human anatomy today. And I got a lot of requests to cover this to add my two copper and I do not mind at all uh, I'm just getting the program here started while I talk it's changed if you're a walking zombie and all you like is MTV then y y you could relate to this okay so this is a very unique phenomenon happening here um, and we're gonna dive into it now this program is called human bio digital Okay, it's. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, I used this during my college years for fitness and health. It's very. So basically, um, I've attempted making this video last night, and it and I was just was stuck on the skull alone for 45 minutes talking about it, right? And I'm like, nah, this isn't gonna work. Which is a shame because it took a lot of energy to create that video, but I also learned a lot that. The changes are so many, and each change of a plus plus plus. You know what I mean? So uh, the, the Earth is changing. So maybe the environment, and I mean the the physical laws of the environment might change as well. Who knows? Um, but basically, with this Mandela effect, I think the human body is a very unique one for everyone because whether you're affected or not, you are experiencing this. Everybody's body has to the human body is so important and through this video th th these next couple of videos with the human anatomy I'm going to show you how the Mandela effect is a beautiful thing and how it's making us stronger and structurally more sound able to deal with our environment better because if you look at Google Earth and the changes in all my other videos everything is a positive